Today let's do something uh, just for the fun of it. Let's have an unboxing. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty and this is my handmade lifestyle. I go by Patty Mac Makes everywhere online. On this channel we are all about living the analog life in this crazy digital world. And if you're also into an analog lifestyle, baking, making, crafts, gardening, all those things, then you've come to the right place and I invite you to like today's video and subscribe to the channel. It's fun here and you'll learn so many cool things. If you are new, then you may not know, in fact you probably don't know, uh, but I'm like super into baking. I like all kinds of baking. I like using mixes, I like baking from scratch, I like easy recipes, and I like to challenge myself sometimes. I like to do a little bit of all of it. Also, I'm super into my library system. I cannot express to you strongly enough that if you don't have your library card, go get it. it the library is fabulous. You would not believe the breadth and depth of the things you can learn in your local library system. I stopped buying new books because they're very expensive and a lot of times I would get them and I would like make one or two recipes maybe and then not really be into the book and it's a lot of money for nothing and it takes up space. I have a very small house, I have to be really careful about what I bring in. So trying things out first in the library is the only way that I will do my cookbooks at this point. Let's talk about today's video. Today's video is an unboxing. Uh, so all of this to say, I found a book that I really, really love from the library. I have like um, renewed it a couple of times now. I don't want to give it back. When I have a book that I don't want to give back, that's when I know it's a keeper. And when I've made a couple of things from it that I really love and I'm like, yeah, I could make that again, then I know. So uh, that's what this first box is going to be, is uh, a new book. So it's Amazon and um, for some reason, they gave me Prime. I don't know why they gave me Prime. I, I, don't, I don't buy their Prime membership. And it's so appropriate that these two things came together. I'm sorry you can't see the box. When I have done unboxings before, I have done them in my uh, garage with the overhead camera, but frankly, it's 40 degrees. It's just too darn cold. Anyway, this is what I got. Um, this is the first book by Christina Tosi, and it is all about the original recipes from Milk Bar. And, oh my gosh. I have made a couple of her things and I'm so into her. I saw her uh, interviewed on a Netflix documentary, I think it was A Chef's Life, and I, I just I fell in love with her because um, she is a classically trained pastry chef. The girl really knows her stuff. Uh, she is no dum-dum. She has run, uh, and I mean run from the back end, uh, more than one uh, successful New York restaurants. Uh, she's been sort of the lifeblood behind the scenes. Um, anyway, she's a smart girl, and um, but she's not pretentious, and I think that's what I love most about her. So she's best known for this. called the birthday cake and um, it's uh, it's it's a totally different way of making cakes and I want to make this cake I have not made this cake yet it's on my list I have made this the confetti cookies they are amazing uh, she has a whole different interesting unique way of mixing cookies she gives you a really thorough uh, introduction to the ingredients that she uses in the recipes and why I mean there's stuff in here you're like what is that for example glucose syrup I had never heard of this what it's she says it's an invert sugar 
and it just does different things in the baking. So I'm going to try it out because Christina uses it. It's in a lot of her recipes. So um, yeah, mostly today, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, most of what I got today is so I can make her stuff uh, because she has you use quite a few things that are different to me. Uh, so I got the glucose serum. This drives a lot of bakers insane, but she uses it. She uses this product in so many of her bakes and this will drive a lot of bakers insane because it's like a, an artificial flavoring, but um, she uses it. It gives her stuff the signature flavor, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, clear vanilla flavor. It's also good because being clear, it doesn't change the color of whatever baked good you're making. So a lot of times, uh, if you want a really white cake or really you need a white, white frosting, when you put the vanilla in, it can discolor it. So it does serve a purpose, uh, but <laughs> it's completely artificial. Uh, also, I got something called cake collars, and I hope I got it t tall enough. I don't really know. I've never bought anything like this. Uh, this is the acetate that she puts around her cakes. That's how she stacks them in the pan to make them. So we're gonna hope it's tall enough. I had to stop and change the battery in the camera. So it seemed like a good point uh, to pick these up so I could show you. Uh, these are her confetti cookies. And oh my God, they smell amazing. They are unbelievable. They're thick, they stay soft. These have been in the container for a couple of weeks, so they're really past <laughs> their freshness date, um, but they came out exactly like her picture. I'm super proud of them, and I will be making them for the channel, so be watching for that recipe. Okay, this box is a larger box. It's kind of big. Um, oh, Everything Kitchens. So this is from Everything Kitchens. It is a, a new to me company, and let me tell you how I found it. I found it uh, because uh, I went looking for a particular uh, cake pan and cake rings, and I found them on Amazon, and I thought, that's kind of expensive. And so when I went out and searched it online, uh, this Everything Kitchens came up, and it was like half as much money. So everything on Amazon is not a bargain. Okay, it's just not. So uh, this is my uh, anti-Amazon diatribe. Uh, let's open the Everything Kitchens box. And I'm sorry you can't see me opening it, but I, I just have the one tripod. I, I, you know, this is this is a home setup. I think that this expectation of having people who are filming at home to have multiple camera setups and to stage their production like we used to do for TV shows is ridiculous and crazy to me. But that's where it is. But I'm not going there. <laughs> that's gonna be what it is. And yes, I used to work in local television years ago in the dark ages. You know, you buy this stuff. <laughs> this is what I do. I wind up, I, I obsess all day. Am I going to spend the money? Am I going to buy this? Do I need it? I don't need it, but I could use it. But, I, you know, I obsess all day. And then right before bed, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. <laughs> and so half asleep, the melatonin is kicking in. Then I decide to go on and... and make whatever the purchase is. And then I was at a couple things. And it was like, well, if you um, spend uh, $50, then you get free shipping. And I was like, uh, I don't know, $1.50 from that. So I went ahead and bought a little extra. I went on for one thing to begin with. Um, this is just so wild to me. Okay, this is a set and um, it's three piece it's a three piece cake pan set. So in this you get a seven inch, a five inch, and a three inch. <laughs> it's just, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that what? It's like, um, I don't know, it's like a great big um, cupcake of sorts. Anyway, what you do is 
you put all these little cakes together and you can make a little tiered cake from one cake mix. So, and so anything that will do two eight inch cake rounds, which is pretty much every cake recipe out there, if it will do two eight inch cake layers, you can have a ball with that. Now, a lot of the newer stuff is all written for three eight inch layers. I don't know who in the heck has eaten all that cake. That is way too much cake. It is enough cake from just one mix or one recipe written for two eight inch layers. But now, because the three inch layer cake is such a cool cake, everybody is just doing these massive recipes. I'm not doing that. I'm sticking to the smaller recipes because they're more manageable for home bakers and for regular people at home. <laughs> That's my diatribe on uh, the state of food blogging. Anyway, um, this is from uh, Fat Daddios, and um, they get really good reviews for stuff. They have a nice um, straight edge, like the Wilton. It is heavier duty than the Wilton. Uh, but I've been happy with my Wilton cake pans. I don't have any problems with those. Some people complain about them. Some people complain about everything. I like my Wilton products. I think they've been fine. And those you can pick up right in Joann's. Use your coupons and you can build your, your baking uh, pantry of items, your library of items. You can build up your stuff, let's just say, without trying to buy it all at once. <laughs> you just buy a little here and there because it gets expensive. Uh, but anyway, that's coming, the little tiered cake pans. This is a quarter sheet pan. And uh, she makes all of her cakes in the quarter sheet pan. So what she does is she um, just bakes, makes her cake mix or, or, or mixes her cake bakes it flat in here and then she will take a cake round ta -da, and cut out the cakes and what happens is you you barely have enough space to punch out two of them so you punch out two of them and then you take the scraps to make your bottom layer so we're gonna see how that works uh, but this is a nice size all my other sheet pans are all really large cookie sheets. Um, I like the size, so yeah, this will be nice to cook with. And this is another um, Fat Daddy-O's product, and it is very nice, it's heavy duty. It says it's Pro Series, so. Oh, built Bakery Tough. Oh, for best performance and lifetime use, hand wash. Well, that won't be a problem, because I don't have a dishwasher. Yeah, so this is the cake ring. So I bought a six inch cake ring. Um, and the one that she shows is like tall, so I probably didn't get one tall enough, but I think when I make her cake, I'm going to do it in my springform pan because, you know, they show building the cake, but nobody ever shows you getting it out of the contraption. So I'm going to build mine with the acetate in the springform pan and um, hopefully that will work, we're gonna find out. This was a good find, so I bought um, pastry bags. And yeah, they're disposable, they're plastic, I'm sorry. But um, I've been working on my royal icing skills and I'll put up some footage of some recent cookies that I made, or I should say they are called iced biscuits. And uh, these were made from my inspiration from Kim Joy. And um, I found uh, those little cats that she uses. And let me tell you something, that's a story on its own, how I came to own the, the cat cookie cutters. That wasn't easy. Um, it took me over a year to find and obtain them. But anyway, I have them now. And um, when you practice royal icing, it, it, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of pastry bags. And I also like doing um, meringues. And the meringues, uh, gosh, you've got to have such a clean uh, piping bag. Otherwise, you can have perfect meringue mix, but if you put it in 
a bag that's had any kind of butter, which frosting is butter, if you do that, uh, it's going to deflate your mixture. So you really have to, you either have to have a pastry bag that is just dedicated to the meringues or the plastic, but I, I think this is the way to go because just getting it completely 100% perfectly clean is really hard. Uh, it, it's residue, the residue, getting all of the residue. Anyway, so uh, I'm an evil person and I bought some piping bags. Okay, so I mentioned I was like uh, right there at uh, like I only needed to spend $1.50 to get the free shipping. And it was like, well, the $1.50 is less money than the shipping cost, so I'll just buy something. So I wound up buying um, a cookie cutter and it's a little bunny rabbit. And I thought that was perfect because I'm working on royal icing and uh, so I got a little bunny. So we're going to be making little bunny rabbits uh, for Easter. Okay, that's everything from the Everything Kitchens. And it came really fast, it was well packed, the products are look really super nice. Uh, so yeah, if you're into baking, I highly recommend Everything Kitchens, they seem good. Um, I have one last thing to show you. Uh, this I bought. Um, at my um, local kitchen store. We have a beautiful kitchen store. It's in uh, Hilltop, uh, the Hilltop area of Virginia Beach. It's right next to Baker's Crust. Um, Fresh Market is also in the uh, same shopping center. The birding store that I go to, Wild Birds Unlimited, is on the other side, so it's a good shopping center. Um, I couldn't resist these, so I had to have them. And they're called um, Perfect pinch bowls and they look like cats so glad to have them uh, they're good photo props um, but also I can use them uh, when I measure out some of the small ingredients isn't that just so cute I had to have them uh, total imp impulse buy okay so that's everything uh, I'm gonna put it all out um, in one spot so you can see it and We'll look at my haul and uh, that's that's the video for today uh, thank you so much for hanging out for spending time uh, I hope you enjoyed this, this little fun light uh, video and um, that uh, maybe you saw some stuff you haven't seen before and uh, I just encourage you to try some new things it's really fun it doesn't always work Sometimes you're going to make stuff that doesn't work. Uh, that's just life. But you know what? You learn from it and you keep going and you can get better. So that's my philosophy anyway and why I like baking so much. It's like all my other craft hobbies. It gives me that opportunity to learn and build on my skills and to get better over time. Okay, that's, uh, that's what I got for you. I appreciate you hanging out if you're still here. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.